Hey, and welcome to this roundup of everything at Linode that I think you'll find of value as a business providing IT services. I'm fresh back from the Acronis and IT Nation event stateside, as you can possibly tell by my voice. I'll touch on that at the end, but for now, let's get into the content. Dog's Body Technology. The name doesn't give much away, does it? But in this latest MSP Spotlight, I lift the lid with owner Dan Benson to learn about their business providing expert Linux and cloud services to SaaS companies. My name's Dan Benton. I'm founder, director of Dog's Body Technology. We talk open source, when and why they use Linode in addition to the big three public cloud providers, and also a little bit about their culture and approach for attracting and retaining staff. Check out the full chat with timestamps below. Our one-click applications marketplace is full of open source gold. And in this blog article, Linode Solutions Architect Holden Morris highlights some of the top security applications you can use to secure your hosted servers and ensure visibility across growing environments, including WireGuard, Warp Speed, Wazoo, and Kali Linux. Ever wondered whether open source applications might have a place in your MSP stack? The Nextcloud all-in-one suite offers many of the features a small business needs, including file sharing, a productivity suite, email, calendar, calling, messaging, and more, which makes it a great place to start, offering great savings for your customers too. Take a look at this brand new video for a guided tour. From here, we're actually just gonna click on Nextcloud. And this is the brand new Nextcloud all-in-one package that's available through our one-click marketplace. Oh, I reckon Kubernetes is probably done by now. In this article in Container Journal, Hilary Wilmoth, Director of Product Marketing at Linode, dispels that idea, explaining that adoption may seem to have slowed, but that's because Kubernetes is being used in less obvious and intuitive ways. She also talks about how managed services like the Linode Kubernetes engine can help make the technology more accessible for devs that might be getting lost in the weeds. Check out the article in full below. Terraform is one of the most popular cloud infrastructure provisioning tools, and our ebook on the topic is one of the most popular that we've created. We've given it a refresh for 2022, adding new sections on developing in a cloud native and multi cloud landscape, automation options, and comparing Terraform with Ansible. It's a great introduction to the subject, and it's not gated, so you can grab it without delay from the link below. Linode's block storage service provides a method of adding additional storage drives to compute instances. Now this is a good thing because it lets your customers store more data without having to resize their compute instances to the larger plans. This latest video is a super clear walkthrough of how to work with it, covering things like formatting, mounting, resizing, and other aspects of working with block storage on Linode. Take a look. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add block storage to your Linode instance. As I mentioned, I spent last week trying to avoid Hurricane Nicole in Miami for the Acronis CyberFit Summit, and then later in the week in Orlando for the ConnectWise IT Nation event where Linode were exhibiting. For a proper roundup of everything that happened at the event, I'll refer you to the one and only Dave Sobel at the Business of Tech. Additionally, I'm gonna give you some color of the conference, show you around a little bit to the size and scale and how it's all laid out, what kind of content is coming here. Now we're proud sponsors of Dave and his live newscasts after big events. And I highly recommend that you check them out, particularly if you weren't able to attend. IT Nation in particular was just crazy in terms of the pure numbers of people there. The Solutions Pavilion was rammed. We spoke to a lot of people. <laughs> gave away plenty of copies of MSP Secrets Revealed, plenty of Linny plush toys, as well as three incredible Lego sets. We we're also joined by the brilliant Richard Tubb, who ran a vintage tech pub quiz live, and we had Ruger the dog on the stand, who basically upstaged everyone and everything. Final note from me, if you'd like to know more about Linode and what we do, don't forget to check out the last introductory webinar of the year for new partners on November the 30th at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. You know where to find the link. Also, of course, you can always grab free credit from linode.com forward slash partners. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.